Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for December 16th, 2020 from Luke chapter 1, the final part of Mary's song, the Magnificat. Previously, we heard the beginning of Mary's song, the Magnificat. In the first part, Mary praises God for all the blessings she has received. In the second part of Mary's song, she will focus on God's salvation for the people of Israel, and this includes all people. Verse 52, He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of humble estate. Again, the proud have no room in their heart for Almighty God and push God out of their heart. As a result, you're going to have a great reversal. God is going to bring down the proud, and he's going to lift up the humble. The humble, those who believe and trust in their heart that, yes, God Almighty sends a Savior, Jesus the Christ. The same is true with the next verse. Verse 53, he has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. Again, this is another reversal. Both these reversals will ultimately take place when Christ comes again in his glory. But now the rich, you could say, are those, again, have no room in their heart for God because it's now cluttered with too many things around them. Whereas the poor don't have that many physical blessings and instead can put their faith and trust in God alone. Now, this doesn't mean that all poor people are automatically going to heaven. No, you do need to believe and trust in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But we are reminded that the rich always have that extra temptation to be attached to the things of this world. Jesus also reminds us in Matthew chapter 5, verse 6, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Mary's song points us to Jesus and what Jesus will accomplish. Verse 54, He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. Here, Mary is stating that God will help the people remember, to remember God's promises. Jesus even says the same thing of the Holy Spirit in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 26. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. God doesn't want us to forget his promises, but to hold on to every single promise of God. This is why we repeat these promises every year in the church year calendar. The promise of God to send a Savior being born in Bethlehem, the Savior being born, the Savior being crucified, the Savior being raised from the dead, and the promise of the Savior to return. For we need to be continued to be reminded of these promises. Otherwise, like the rich, we may get distracted with the many other things around us and lose sight of the precious promises of God. So the church is here to remind us. It's not just the same old story over and over again because we have nothing new. It is remembering and recalling that God does keep his promises. Verse 55, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his offspring forever. Notice how long we should be repeating these promises. They were given to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, to all believers forever and ever. This is the message of the church. Sure, we may have heard about the birth of Jesus previously. This isn't something new to us, but we need to continue to hear it. 
because in it we have words for life and life eternally. These promises are to be remembered forever. Join me again tomorrow as we get to hear about the birth of John. God's peace and many blessings be with you and thank you for watching and please take an opportunity to share this video with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for watching.